and good evening, everyone, and welcome to Central Illinois Sports. It's another live presentation of high school basketball. Tonight's broadcast coming to you live from Griggsville Perry High School here at the Nick. Griggsville Perry set to do battle against the Triopia Trojans in a rematch of a contest between these two teams that matched up at the Winchester Tournament. Alongside Jake Hall, Tim Hall, Allison Doki, I'm Damon Emmerich here getting set to preview this matchup on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll take our first time out of the evening when we come back. We'll tell you about these two teams, preview the final week of the regular season, and talk a little bit about postseason basketball to come. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show back after these. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now that the new year is upon us, it's time to focus on the important things like Wi-Fi, strong connections, and high speed. This is the perfect time to tell you to call Cascom today. We specialize in all of those important needs. With our high-speed fiber optic service, we make your life easier. Whether that's online streaming, gaming, or just wanting good local TV channels, we have it all. So give us a call today at 1-800-252-1799. Today's halftime show is brought to you by Little Jeff Motor Company. Warmer weather and topless doorless adventures are right around the corner. Stop out to Little Jeff today to check out our large selection of Jeep Wranglers. We currently have 15 Wranglers in stock and many more on their way. Right now you can drive a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door sport for only $4.99 per month with absolutely zero down. Is a four-door more your style? Drive a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport for only $5.99 per month with zero down. Little Jeff serving the Tri-States for seven decades. I like hard work. I mean, I kind of was raised that way. You really do make a difference. You're, you're helping ship out food to feed people. Someone's got to do it, and I don't mind doing the hard work of it, you know. That gives me meaning, and I do go home rewarded. Every time I drop off a pallet, it's kind of corny, but I look back at it with a sense of pride. I'm like, yep, I built that. It looks awesome, and then I just drive away. I love it. When my life needed meaning, I chose Doc. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago they would have to do open heart surgery and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. Welcome back to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Great Rivers Bank with locations in Pittsfield, Barrie, Liberty, and Hannibal is here to help you with your lending and personal banking needs. Our friendly service and dedicated loan officers can help you through buying a home, opening a business, or making a deposit. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Well, it's the 12 and 14 Triopia Trojans against the 24 and 5 Griggsville Perry Tornadoes. Final week here of the regular season. Postseason pairings just came out last week. Griggsville Perry will travel to the New Berlin Regional, and Triopia will go to Liberty for their postseason action. Griggsville Perry and Triopia matched up earlier in the season uh, at the Winchester in the second round. It was a lopsided victory for Griggsville Perry, a 52-17 victory for the Tornadoes and one that you know head coach Rich Thompson has reminded his squad of throughout the week of how that game turned out. Surely not expecting the uh, the same result here in this one. And Tim, when you look at this Triopia Trojan squad, you know, obviously the first thing you think of when it's a Rich Thompson group is they're going to be well coached. But what else stands out for you? You had a chance to watch them at the, uh, at the Winchester Tournament and have seen them several times throughout the year. Yeah, and I think what else also stands out for me is they only have three total seniors on their squad, so they're a pretty young team overall, although they have a lot of juniors on the squad. But 
they they will be a team to look forward to in the future because they are young and they will have players that will come back next season and be even better next year after one year of varsity play. Yeah, they will lose some very valuable contributions from this year's squad after this season. But, you know, final week of regular season, and you never knew, really know what to expect. This is a uh, time of year where it's not uncommon. We, we see some teams pull some upsets here in the in the last week of regular season, expecting, or the team that maybe is a favorite going in, will uh, be looking a little bit too far ahead to postseason. So if you're Grigsville Perry, you've got to make sure that you come into this one laser focused and ready to go. Grigsville Perry had their senior night here in this ball game, before the ball game, a very emotional senior night as the Tornadoes honored the memory of their fallen classmate, Zach Thomas, who passed away in an automobile accident in October of this year. And when you go through the emotions like that, it's hard to turn around and get locked back in. So, Allison, when you when you start talking about this Grigsville Perry squad, what do they have to do to control their emotions to be ready to play in this ball game? They just got to remember to do what Zach would want them to do, play as a team, have fun on their last home game of the season, and really just come together as a team like they have been there for each other all year. It's the Great Rivers Bank Pro pregame show. Grigsville Perry. Triopia, about eight and a half minutes from the national anthem and starting lineups. We'll take a timeout. We're back after these. Hey, grab me one, too. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217 222 7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. I see. Best Systems Insulators offer insulation for homes and commercial buildings throughout Central Illinois and the surrounding areas. We take great care to ensure that the insulation products we use are the best fit for our clients and their project. We understand that different buildings have different needs and that each of our clients has a unique set of goals. Let us work with you to find the best solution for your next project. Call Best Systems Insulators at 217-285-6005. That's 285-6005. Or visit them online at Go Best Systems. I have to speak to you about something that is uh, concerning me. Heard you and your mother talking about this Arlo fella. You're dating someone? Yeah. Dad, Arlo's the name of the new security cameras that we got from our service provider. Mm. Arlo's not a boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, not a boy. Apparently, we just learned that it's a camera named after a boy. Why don't you name it Peter? Welcome back to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. If you're in the market for a new home loan, talk to the experts at Great Rivers Bank. With locations in Barrie, Pittsfield, Liberty, and Hannibal, we serve the entire region and beyond. Check out our online loan application at greatriversbank.bank. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Well, this Triopia Trojan squad here in the final week of the regular season. Next week, they will match up in the first round of regionals where they will take on the 13 seed, Mount Sterling Brown County. The Trojans are the seven seed in the Liberty Regional. And 
Tornadoes of Griggsville Perry will host first round game. The Trojans will host their first round game. The Tornadoes will host their first round game here next Monday night where they will face Greenview. And if they win that ball game, they face the winner of the Edinburgh Jacksonville route contest. Tornadoes the two seed overall in their sectional. Edinburgh is the eight seed and Rockets the six seed in that ball game. Tim, these two teams matched up about a month ago at the Winchester tournament. Griggsville Perry came out and really forced the Trojans into a lot of turnovers early on, had a lot of fast break buckets, and then the Trojans could just never get things going in that ball game, ultimately falling by a score of 52-17. What do you think Rich Thompson's message is to his squad in the in the locker room here before the game, but also the days of practice preparing for this contest well i'm thinking that there he's really just telling him hey you lost 52 to 17 earlier this year you don't want to do that again and i'm thinking they're also practicing their press breaker because we saw in that game they could not beat the press very often and even whenever they did beat the press they were going too fast to be able to even run an offense and just force shots that they were not comfortable taking so i think that uh, their coach has prepared them for this game. He just has to let the players play. Well, and we know it's not un uncommon in the uh, in high school basketball. We see it even in college and professional basketball that there's just times where it's not your night. And that night at Winchester, it just was not the Trojans' night. And Griggsville Perry, they were clicking on all cylinders in that ball game. And Griggsville Perry did what they want to do in a game like that. They want to get teams sped up and – Griggsville Perry's most success is when they can get out and running, not necessarily in the half-court set, and that's what they were able to do in that ball game against the Trojans. Senior night here for Griggsville Perry. They have six seniors on this year's squad. Rory Phillips back on the uh, Tornadoes after not playing last season. Then you've got Wyatt Lipkeman, Dane McAllister, Michael Myers, Lane Lipkeman, and Eli White, the six seniors for Griggsville Perry this year. And when you talk about the Tornadoes, Allison, when you look at this squad, what are some of the things that the Tornadoes need to do in order to be successful and win this ball game tonight? Well, they have to just play as a team like they have been. These boys have been together since kindergarten, first grade, and they play together for a long time. So just uh, remember um, their success, what they do well together, and rebound. Rebounding is a big key for this Tornado squad. When they're able to control the defensive glass, they typically have success. Griggsville Perry is allowing the amount of points per game of any team in 1A basketball, and we've seen in the games where the Tornadoes fell to defeat that the offensive glass did not benefit them. The defensive rebounding was a struggle. Opponents beat them by controlling the offensive glass, and when we talk this Tornado squad, that is one of the biggest keys. The other key is get the other team playing quicker than what they want to play. That's the Tornado's style of play and when they have the most success. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We're going to pause for the national anthem when we come back. Starting lineups, play-by-play, -play and more. We're back after these.
to the Best of Pet Olympics 2024 sponsored by the Love Your Pet Sale at your local farm and home supply. First up, we've got the gold medal champion in speed eating. It's Ollie. Good thing more than a dozen brands of dog food are on sale. Next is Ellie, the gold medal winner in squeaker ruination. She's backed by 25% off all pet toys. And here's Moses, the gold medal winner in treat finding. He's gonna love the 10% off sale on select dog treats. Check out all the deals for the Love Your Pet sale at farmandhomesupply.com. Today's starting lineups are brought to you by Farm and Home Supply. From snacks and hoodies to power tools and lawn chairs, no other place has it like your local Farm and Home Supply. Well, the starting lineups in this one, first off for the Triopia Meridosha Chambersburg, Virginia Trojans. We'll call them most of the night the, either the Trojans or Triopia Trojans. They come into this contest with a record of 12 and 14 under the direction of head coach Rich Thompson, assisted by Tanner Huddleston. Hunter Stockton and Cody Winkleman. They'll start at one guard, a six foot senior, Evan Bell. At another guard position, a six foot senior, Austin Struby. And at the third guard position, a five eight junior, Caleb Carpenter. At one forward, a six three sophomore, Andrew Hobrock. And at the other forward position, a six six senior, KJ. Beck, Bell, Struby, Carpenter, Beck, and Hobrock, the five starters for the Trojans. And for the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes under head coach Garrett White, assisted by Brandon Yelia and Matt Hanson, they come into this contest with a record of 24 and 5. They'll start the following. At one guard, a 5'9 senior, Wyatt Lipkman. At the other guard position, a 5'9 senior, Lane Lipman at one forward position, a 6'1 senior, Eli White. And at the other forward position, a 6'3 senior, Michael Myers. And at the center position for the Tornadoes, a 6'4 senior, Dane McAllister. Lipman, Lipman, White, Myers, and McAllister, the five starters in this one for Griggsville Perry. Griggsville Perry, Triopia, We'll take a 30 second timeout. We're back with play by play after this. I'm Chris Nichols with PCRE Real Estate and Auction here in Pittsfield. For 15 years now, I've been specializing in selling farmland and hunting properties, along with homes and commercial real estate. Whether it's helping a seller get a premium price out of their home or assisting a buyer to find the farm of their dreams, I pride myself on providing elite customer service. Give me a call today at 217-473-3777 if I can help with any of your real estate needs. Or feel free to jump on our website at pcrerealestate.com. Back here almost time for the tip. Beck will tip for the Trojans. Myers for the Tornadoes before she goes to bed. Good night, Malin. And we're at Myers tip back, and that is controlled by Carpenter. Carpenter into the front court, pass deflected, run down by Struby. Gets it to Bell, down low to Hobrock, out top, that's Struby. Left wing, Carpenter thought about the three, doesn't take it, and he'll push it back out top. Struby will go back to Carpenter. Griggs will parry in their 2 3 defense. Pass tried to go down low to Beck, deflected, stolen away, turnover against the Trojans, their first. Into the front court with it. That's Wyatt Lipkman. He'll get it off to brother Lane Lipkman. And Myers has it out top to McAllister. Right wing Lane Lipkman put it on the floor. Now he'll pull it back out. Reset the offense for the Tornadoes. Trojans out in a man-to-man -man defense to start this one. McAllister has it top of the key. He'll go left wing to Myers. Then he'll use a screen for McAllister. Out top, White with it a minute into this ballgame. Scoreless, Griggsville, Perry, and Triopia. Wyatt Lipkin out top. Gets it right wing. That's Delane Lipkin. He'll use the Myers screen. Get it left wing. Wyatt Lipkin doesn't take the three. He'll get it to McAllister. Back out top to Myers. And he'll put it on the floor, attack the rim. His shot is up and good. Myers with the first two for Griggsville, Perry. And it's a 2-0 lead for the Tornadoes. Griggsville Perry will pick up full court like we're accustomed to seeing them. Full court zone, and the Trojans break it. That's Carpenter. Carpenter will get it out top to Struby. And they'll go left wing. That's Bell. Kicks it across court. That's Struby. 
good ball movement in this one for the Trojans. Three was up and no good. Offensive rebound down to Struby. He'll go right wing. That's Carpenter. His three up and good. Carpenter's got three. Lead change number one of the ball game. White with it in the front court for Grigsville Perry. And then goes left wing. That's Wyatt Lipman. He'll kick it out top. Back to White. Right wing to Myers. Grigsville Perry in a little bit of a motion offense here. And White will get it left wing. That's to Lane Lipquin. He'll bring it back out top. Look to get the Tornadoes into an offense here. A little bit stagnant on the offensive end first quarter for the Tornadoes. That'll be Myers put up a three. It's no good. Bell with the rebound, his first of the contest. And he'll get it off to Struby, who will cross the time stripe. Picks up his dribble and goes left wing. That's Carpenter. Right wing with it, that's Bell. He'll get it to Beck. Beck's pass out to Carpenter. His three-pointer is up and no good, and it will go over the top of the backboard. It will be out of bounds, Gregsville Perry basketball. Rory Phillips checks into the contest for the Tornadoes. Eli White takes a seat. Garrett White making sure all of his seniors see some time out on the court early in this one. They put a lot of time and effort into this program, and he wants to make sure that they are recognized as such. Lipkman with it and have an illegal screen against the Tornadoes. Foul will be whistled against McAllister. That's his first. First foul of the quarter and the first turnover of the ball game against the Tornadoes. Into the front court come the Trojans. That's Bell. He's going to attack the bucket. His shot is deflected and out of bounds. It will remain Trojans basketball, but Triopia is prepared for this press quite well thus far as they've done a good job finding the middle seam of the zone and moving the basketball quickly into the front court. Obrock with it, fakes the three, gets up in the air, gets the pass off to Carpenter. <clears throat> Carpenter will go right wing to Bell, back to Carpenter. Paying a little bit of pitch and catch there. And down low he goes to Hobrock. Hobrock's going to be fouled, and that'll be the second foul of the ballgame against McAllister. Second foul uh, the quarter against the Tornadoes. Andrew Hobrock at the line for Triopia. His team's got the 3-2 lead. 4.29 to play here in the first quarter. Trojans took the lead on a three by Caleb Carpenter. Obrock's first is up and good. Pike County Express, your local family-owned newspaper serving Pike County since 1991. Check it out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. McAllister goes to the bench with his two fouls. Logan Fensick checks into the contest. Obrock second is up and no good. Offensive rebound is controlled by Struby. Struby's second offensive board of the ball game. And then the Trojans got a put back, and Garrett White will take a timeout. We'll take it to Triopia 6, Grigsville Perry 2, back in 30 seconds. Game Masters is your headquarters for all your hunting gear. We have more than just camo hunting attire. Come check out our casual lines of Sitka, Under Armour, North Face, Columbia, Drake, and more. Pursue your prey with these off-road quiet cat bikes from Game Masters. Easy to transport and perfect for your next hunting adventure. Game Masters, we're passionate about the outdoors. Well, Garrett White takes the timeout. His squad trails 6-2, 4.22 to play here in the first quarter. Not happy with some of the offensive rebounds that they have allowed. And they've just been slow on the offensive side of things. He wants to try to change the momentum. And Fensick has the basketball now for Grigsville Perry. Holds it high above his head. He'll get it off to Myers, who has the only two points of the night for the Tornadoes. Wyatt Lipkin with it left wing. He'll kick it out top to Lane. Back left wing to Wyatt. Three-point shot for Wyatt Lipkin is up and no good. Beck with the rebound for the Trojans. His first. Quickly into the front court come the Trojans. Down low, Hobrock's shot is no good. Myers gets the rebound. His first. He'll push it into the front court. Wyatt Lipkin streaking out. Bucket is up and good. lipkin has got his first two. It's 6-4. Triopi on top of Griggsville Perry. Three and a half minutes to play here. First quarter action on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction Scoreboard. 
Obrock picked up his dribble but gets it into the front court. That's to Struby. Actually, that's to Bell. He'll kick it cross court to Struby. Three-pointer from him is up and nails it. Struby's got three. Trojans have a five-point lead. Their largest of the ball game. Into the front court. Lane Lipkin will get it to Myers. And Myers will kick it right wing. That's to Lane Lipkin. And he'll find Fensick in the corner. He gets it to Myers. Back out top. That goes to Wyatt Lipkin. And nice job here in this one by Triopia. As Myers attacks the bucket backdoor, couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Carpenter. And then Carpenter will be fouled on the rebound by Rory Phillips. That's Phillips first third team foul of the quarter against Griggsville Perry. Garrett Woodward checks into the contest for the first time in this one for Griggsville Perry. Phillips will take a seat after picking up that foul. Trojans with it in the backcourt. That's Carpenter. And Obrock gets it. And the Trojans couldn't get it across the front court without a turnover. Myers with the steal into the front court. Wyatt Lipman with another two. He's got four. And Griggsville Perry with the basketball steal in the backcourt. Turnover against the Trojans, their third. And Fensical put up the three. His shot is up and in and out, no good. Woodward got in there for the rebound, couldn't get it to go. Lane Lipkin got the rebound. His shot was no good. Beck had the rebound in the backcourt and then come into the front court. and foul's going to be whistled against Lane Lipkin. That'll be his first. Fourth foul of the quarter against Griggsville Perry. They trail 9-6, 2-13 to play here, first quarter action. Obrock will be the inbounds man. He gets it in, that's to Carpenter. He'll go top of the key to Struby. Left wing to Bell, back out top, the Trojans to Carpenter, looking to set him up to an offense. Free throw line, that's to Obrock. He spins, gets it to Carpenter. His three is up, off the back of the iron, no good. Lane lift win the rebound, his second. He'll push it into the front court, gets it off to Wyatt Liftman. They'll get it to Woodward, back to Wyatt Lipman, out top, that's Brother Lane. Get it to Myers, he'll attack the bucket, dishes it off for a three from Woodward. It is up and it bounces all around, finally finds its way down. Tied at nine, our first tie of the ball game. Gregsville Perry on a 5-0 run. Obrock's pass deflected, stolen away. Woodward with the steal, he'll get it to Wyatt Lipman. He's going to attack the bucket, reverse layup is no good. Beck with the rebound for Triopia, his third. And back to court. Carpenter's going to pick it up. He was in a double team. Couldn't get away from Finally does. And before the 10-second violation can be told, Triopia will take a timeout. We'll t- take it to. Knotted up at 9. One sixteen to play. First quarter action back in 30. Jersey's world. Jersey's world. Party time. Excellent. Blue. Party on, Jay. Party on, Todd. Jersey's Bar and Grill in Camp Point, where you can find the best burgers, sandwiches, and steaks, all locally sourced from GJY Beef Company. We love beer! We love beer! Ice cold draft beer. Enjoy one of our many craft selections on the patio. All at Jersey's Bar and Grill, 109 East Jefferson, Camp Point, Illinois. It'll be Trojans basketball coming out of the timeout. 116 to play here in quarter number one. Knotted up at nine. Griggsville Perry on a 5-0 run currently. Triopia had the 9-4 lead. That five-point lead is their largest of the ball game. And Carpenter has it in the backcourt. He'll get it to Struby. Backcourt to Carpenter. He'll go middle. That is to Whitehead who checked in on the timeout. Trojans just barely beat the 10-second call. But in the corner, they had Struby trapped. He finds Beck. He'll get it out top for the long three from Whitehead, and it is good. Big shot right there for Barrett Whitehead, the 5'10 junior. He gives his team the lead back. No lead change as they led prior to the most recent tie. Wyatt Lipman with the basketball for the Tornadoes. He'll get it to Myers. And see if Griggsville Perry tries to hold for one. Lane Lipkin spin move, kicks it back out to Woodward. And back out top comes Wyatt Lipkin. Griggsville Perry with the basketball, 20 seconds to play here, quarter number one. Barring a tie-up in the last 15 seconds, it will be Tornadoes basketball to start the second quarter. Lane Lipkin will hand it off to Wyatt Lipkin with nine to play. And the Tornadoes look to make a move. 
Lipkin's pass near steal, then he gets it back, gets it down low to Lane Lipkin. His shot was no good. Fensick with the tip in, put back is good, and that's how we'll end quarter number one. After one quarter, Triopia 12, Griggsville Perry 11, back with second quarter play-by-play -play in a minute. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at West Town Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all, and a lot of them, at West Town Ford in Jacksonville. Seed selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top-producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels. Or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. It'll be Griggsville Perry basketball to start the second quarter. They trail 12 to 11 after one quarter over Triopia. Griggsville Perry shoots 45% in quarter number one on five of 11 shooting. And the Trojans shoot four of nine for 44%. Logan Fensick will start the second quarter with a three for Griggsville Perry. Fensick's got five as he had the tip in to end quarter number one. We've got lead change number two. Trojans bring it into the front court. Beck with it. He'll get it to Whitehead, and he'll bring it out top to set the offense for the Trojans. Right wing with it, Struby to Carpenter. They get it down low to Beck, and Beck loses the ball. Turnover against the Trojans. That's their fifth. And... It will be Griggsville Perry basketball. Woodward with it, he'll get it over right wing, that's Lane Lipman. He'll find Fensick. Fensick gets Wyatt Lipman at the free throw line. One dribble back out top, goes down low to the post. Michael Myers kicks it out to Fensick. He'll put up a three again, his shot. Can't get that one to go. Rebound down to Carpenter, his second. He'll get it off to Struby. And the Trojans look to get it across the timeline. In the backcourt, flat four, turnover against the Trojans. Off to Lane Lipman. He's got his first two of the ballgame. That turnover was the sixth of the ballgame for the Trojans. And the Tornadoes with their largest lead of the night at four. It's 16-12, Griggsville Perry. They're on a 7-0 run. And Obrock will pull up, free throw line extended. His shot is up and good. He's got three. Into the front court for the Tornadoes. With it is Fensick. We've seen Fensick be starting most of the second half of the season. Did not start in this one as head coach Garrett White went with five seniors to start the night. Wyatt Lipman's three-pointer was off the iron. No good. Michael Myers had the offensive rebound. Got it to Woodward, and they're going to say Woodward traveled on the drive. It'll be a turnover against the Tornadoes. That's their second. Into the ball game for the Trojans. We'll see David Richards. Also see Brock York check into the contest. Prepared, and I don't think that, and I don't think the Tornadoes were expecting that. You got to start over again. Your mic was off there, Allison. Oh, I just said I. Got to hand it to the Trojans here. They have come out pretty prepared, and I don't think the Tornadoes were expecting that right off the bat. Well, and you can tell the first time you match up against this Griggsville Perry team, uh, it's tough. They're tough to prepare for. And it looks like we're going to have a, a technical against the Trojans as they're gonna say that maybe a number wasn't reported correctly in the scorebook. So Lane Lipman goes to the line to shoot two for Griggsville Perry. His first free throw was good. But you are correct. I mean, Griggsville Perry, you've got nerves on senior night. You had a lot of emotions, obviously, honoring uh, Zach Thomas's memory here 
And you know when you're 16 to 18 year old young men trying to trying to go through that and get prepared, and when you give Rich Thompson squad on top of that an opportunity to get ready to face this team, it's it's a different game. And Grigsville Perry trailed by as many as five. They've got the four point lead after Lipkeman made both three free throws. Logan Fitzek's three pointer is no good. Obrock with the rebound. That's his first. But Grigsville Perry has had a nice rebound after falling down early. Myers will tie up one of the Trojans. They're just across half court. Possession will remain with Triopia. 5.41 to play here, first half action. As Grigsville Perry leading. Beck with the, in the backcourt. He'll get it across the time stripe to Hobrock. One dribble, and he will dish it off. That's to Brock York. York's pass nearly went out of bounds. Nice job by David Richards to track it down. Being guarded closely by Lipkin. Picks up his dribble. Near steal there for the Tornadoes, but Richards was there. Nice pass down low. Beck's two is up and good. Beck's got four points in the ballgame. And it's a two-point lead for Grigsville Perry, 18-16. 5.05 to play here in the first quarter. Myers will put up the three. His first three of the ballgame is good. Lead out to five for the Tornadoes, their largest lead of the ballgame. Ball's going to, actually we're going to have foul against Grigsville Perry. That'll be whistled against Wyatt Lipman. That'll be his first. First foul of the quarter against Grigsville Perry. Carpenter back into the contest for Rich Thompson's squad, along with Struby. Also out there is Bell, Obrock, and Beck, the original starters for this Trojan squad. Bell has the basketball. He gets it across the time stripe. His pass is going to go out of bounds, just a little bit too high for his teammate to handle. Turnover against the Trojans. It is their seventh, and it is Tornado basketball. 4.45 to play here in the first half. Logan Fensick, nice backdoor pass to Wyatt Lipman. His reverse layup, no good. Fensick gets the offensive rebound. Putback was no good. Got another offensive rebound. Kicked it out to Lane Lipman. His three was no good. Struby with the rebound for the Trojans. That's his third. His pass deflected and stolen away in the backcourt. Lane Lipman gets it to Wyatt Lipman. Lipman's got six. It's a seven-point tornado lead. Their largest of the ballgame. And... Trojans have the basketball, looking to cut into this tornado lead. Get it across the time stripe to Struby. He'll get Bell. Bell is going to be f- or throw the pass to Obrock. He'll be fouled on that pass by Fensick. That'll be Fensick's first, second tornado foul of the quarter. Back and forth action here in this one. Tornadoes and Trojans. Inbound is going to come in. That's to Struby. They'll go into the corner to Carpenter. Wanted to take the three. Couldn't get it. He'll put it on the floor. Attack the bucket. Fight through the contact. Shot up and good. Draws the foul against Fensick. His second. Third team foul of the quarter. And Carpenter will go to the line looking to complete the and one. He's got five points. Nice job right there by Carpenter to shield the ball from Fensick as he went up for it. Carpenter gets the and one to go. Give him six. And quickly into the front court, Grigsville with their sideline break. Get it to Woodward. He attacks the bucket, and he's got a quick layup. Woodward's got five. And Grigsville Perry did a nice job there. Into the front court come the Trojans. Beck's going to get it off. Down low to Hobrock. His shot is in and out. No good. Rebound is going to have a foul against Beck. His first, second foul of the quarter against the Trojans as Myers did a nice job there to get position get the rebound and draw the foul against the big man for the Trojans. That'll be Beck's first. And into the front court, Lane Lipman. He'll get it to Fensick. Fensick's pass was knocked away. Tracked back down by Fensick. And then pass is going to be deflected, stolen away. Turnover against Grigsville Perry. That's their third. Trojans with the basketball. Into the front court, that's Bell. Right wing with it is Struby. Struby gets the pass back, thought about the three, doesn't take it. Instead, it'll go right wing. That's Bell. Skip across court. Long three attempt from Struby is up. Off the back of the iron, no good. Myers with the rebound. That's his fourth. He dishes it to Lane Lipman, who will get it into the front court. That's Wyatt Lipman. Back to Lane Lipman. His three-pointer is in and out. No good. Halfway down, came back out. Beck with the rebound. That's his fourth. 
And it's Trojans basketball, trailing by six, 2.45 to play here, first half action. Carpenter with it, and he'll look to set up an offense for his squad. Finds Hobrock, free throw line extended. Nice pass to get it to Beck. Into the corner, that's to Struby. Struby gets it back, he finds Obrock, short corner. His height skips it out top to Bell, to Carpenter. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket. His shot is no good. He gets the offensive rebound up and good. Carpenter's got eight. He's showing that he's not afraid to go in and play amongst the trees in there as he's had two nice drives to the bucket that have led to five points for his Trojan squad. Into the front court, Grigsville Perry. Fensicle put up the three, couldn't get it to go. Obrock with another rebound. And Trojans have the basketball under two minutes to play here. First half action, chance to make this a one possession game as they trail 25-21. Carpenter thought about the three, doesn't get it. Passes to corner, that is to Bell. His three was no good. Myers got the rebound, that's his fifth. They push it into the front court to Woodward. Back to Lane Lipquin, to Myers. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Woodward will take the three, it's no good. Beck with the rebound for Triopia, that's his fifth. And Trojans basketball under 90 seconds to play here in the first half. Carpenter will get it into the front court. That's to Obrock. Out top. That goes to Struby with a minute 15 to play here in the first half. Struby looks to get it to back free throw line extended. He does. And when you find the middle of the zone like that, it allows your team to do so much. As Beck put it on the floor, turned and took the shot. It goes, he's got six, and what was a seven-point Griggsville Perry lead is down to two with 50 seconds to play here in the first half. Griggsville Perry normally tries to hold for one shot here in this scenario. They will also have the basketball to start the third quarter, barring a tie-up here late in this possession. Lane Lipquin has the basketball for Griggsville Perry. He'll get it to Wyatt Lipquin who will get it back out top to his brother with 25 seconds to play here, quarter number one. Woodward with it, back to Lane Lipman. He'll hand it off to Michael Myers as we approach the 15 second mark of quarter number two. Lane Lipman has it with 10. He'll dribble handoff to brother Wyatt Lipman, looks to use the screen for Myers. Myers will get it to Woodward. Woodward's three pointer is gonna Bounce around and find a way to go down, and you'll see that on the Northwestern Mutual Instant Replay as we head to half. At the half, Griggsville Perry 28, Triopia 23. That takes us to the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. We're back after these. Today's halftime show is brought to you by Little Jess Motor Company. Warmer weather and topless scoreless adventures are right around the corner. Stop out to Little Jess today to check out our large selection of Jeep Wranglers. We currently have 15 Wranglers in stock and many more on their way. Right now you can drive a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door sport for only $4.99 per month with absolutely zero down. Is a four-door or more your style? Drive a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport for only $5.99 per month with zero down. Little Jess serving the Tri-States for seven decades. Here in Pittsfield, we're focused on maintaining a healthy, diverse economic base to increase opportunities for our residents. Economic factors greatly affect a community's overall potential, and we strive to continue our prosperous culture. The availability of both commercial and industrial employment centers and new lucrative entrepreneurship opportunities are major assets for growth and development here in Pittsfield. In addition to providing employment and income to people, Pittsfield also boasts several tax incentive districts to further facilitate economic growth. Examples of growth and success can be seen throughout Pittsfield. Pittsfield is located within Pike County and widely known for the abundance of white-tailed deer and is also home to companies that have capitalized from the region's natural resources. Located over on Madison Street, Whitetail Properties is a major local and international employer that truly embodies the local and economic spirit of Pittsfield. State-of-the-art communications and telecommuting are available here. Be sure to catch their televised series throughout the week on the Sportsman Channel. Come grow and be a part of something great in Pittsfield, Illinois. 
Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. Welcome to the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Little Jess, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Quincy, Illinois is the place to go for your next vehicle purchase. Their staff is committed to making the car buying process simple and making sure each customer's needs are satisfied. Learn more at littlejessmotor.com or stop by and see them at 3431 Main Street in Quincy. Well, Griggsville Perry takes the 28-23 lead here at the half as a three-pointer from Garrett Woodward. Started to hit the rim at about the three and a half second mark. Bounced around until there was about a half a second left before finally going down to end quarter number two. Triopia had the 12-11 lead after one. The Trojans have led by as many as five points in this one. Griggsville Perry with a lead by as many as seven. One tie in the contest where we were tied up at nine in the ball game. We have had two lead changes in this one. Fouling situation, no Trojan with more than one foul for Griggsville Perry. Logan Fensick and Dane McAllister both picked up two fouls in the first half of play. At the half on the Little Jess Motors halftime show, Griggsville Perry 28, Triopia Meridosha Chambersburg 23. Back with the rest of your first half stats after these. Are you short on time or budget, but your family is hungry? It's time for the Maya Authentic Mexican Restaurant in Pittsfield. Try the Maya Special, a crowd favorite. Delicious grilled fajitas, steaks, nachos Mexicano, salads in the tortilla bowl, the tastiest salsa and cheese sauce around, and the fastest service anywhere. You can afford it. It's the Maya Mexican Restaurant on Washington Street. Call ahead with your order and you can pick it up in the drive through 217-285-4526. The Maya Restaurant. Restaurant in Pittsfield. Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who share this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point. Together, we are a strong United Community. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. Welcome back on the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Griggsville Perry leading Triopia 28-23 at the half. Taking a look at shooting percentages from the first half of play. Triopia Meridosha Chambersburg shoots 9 of 18 from the field for 50%. 6 of 10 from the 2. 3 of 8 from the 3. And they were 2 of 3 from the free throw line. Individual scoring in the first half for the Trojans. Barrett Whitehead, Austin Struby, and Andrew Hobrock with three points apiece. K.J. Beck with six points and five rebounds. And Caleb Carpenter leads the Trojans at the half with eight points. <clears throat> For Griggsville Perry, they shoot 44% in the first half on 11 of 25 shooting. 7 of 11 from the two. 4 of 14 from the three. 
and they were two for two from the free throw line. Individual scoring in the half for the Tornadoes, four points for Lane Lipquin, five points apiece for Michael Myers and Logan Fensick. Wyatt Lipquin with six points, and Garrett Woodward led the Tornadoes in the first half of play with eight points. Griggsville Perry 28, Triopia 23 at the half. And, Tim, when you look at this Trojan squad, they came out led by as many as five points in the first half of play. Trail by five here at the half. What do the Trojans need to do here in this third quarter to come out and get themselves back into this one? Well, I think they need to just do what they did in the first quarter and control the ball and make sure that Griggsville Perry cannot get those fast break points and also control the three-pointers by Griggsville. I mean, they're four for 14 right now, but those four three-pointers, I'm pretty sure three of the four happened in the uh, second quarter. So the second quarter, they kind of went a little bit downhill, but they need to go back to what they did in the first quarter, control the ball, get through that press, and then get into an offense. Well, the Trojans did a good job finding the middle of the zone, which is often referred to as the soft spot of the zone. But when they didn't make crisp passes, when they dribbled a little bit too much, it caused some turnovers. They had eight turnovers there in the first half of play. Now, Allison for Griggsville Perry got off to a little bit of a slow start, took a lead by as many as seven. We're down. That lead was down to two before Garrett Woodward's three to end the first half of play. What do the Tornadoes need to do in this one to come out and maybe extend that lead? I think they need to find the rhythm and stick to it. You know, in the first half, it looked like they were finding a rhythm a little bit and then make a small mistake here and there. So I think they need to just um, get out there and, like I said, find that rhythm. And for Griggsville Perry, it didn't help for them that Dane McAllister picked up two early fouls. McAllister's been playing well for them here as of late. Had some valuable contributions off the bench as Woodward and Fensick off the bench for Griggsville Perry combined for 13 of their 28 points. That'll do it here for us on the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. We'll take our final timeout of the break. When we come back, Griggsville Perry will have the basketball to start the third quarter. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners, a brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off road. Go Full Throttle! Go Full Throttle. Stotsy Automotive and Tire, located at 201 Adams Street in Camp Point, Illinois, is your local automotive repair shop. Whether you need an oil change, brake job, alignment, engine repair, or new tires, Stotsy Automotive is here with honest and competitive pricing. Call Reagan and his team today to schedule your appointment. 217-740-5010. That's 217-740-5010 for Stotsy Automotive and Tire. It'll be Griggsville Perry basketball to start the third quarter of play. They'll have out on the floor Myers, Lipkman, Lipkman, Fensick, and Dane McAllister to start quarter number three. The Trojans will counter with Carpenter, Struby, Bell, Hobrock, and Beck, the original starting five for the Trojans. Myers will inbound to Lane Lipkman, and that's how this third quarter will start. Out top with it is McAllister. He'll go left wing, thought about the three, Wyatt Lipkman instead. He'll get it to Michael Myers. Myers will pull from about a step behind the free throw line. His shot is up and good. Myers has got seven, and Griggsville Perry matches their largest lead of the ball game at seven. Trojans get it into the front court. That's Obrock. And get away with an over and back there as Carpenter had not established himself into the front court. It'll be Trojans basketball, backdoor lob, that's to Bell, did a nice job to catch it, saved it inbounds, then passes deflected, stolen away, turnover against the Trojans, their ninth, into the front court, Lane Lipwin, he is two, is up and good, he's got six, Tornadoes with a 4-0 run to start quarter number three, lead is out to nine. Bell in the backcourt, gets it to Carpenter, his pass will cross the time stripe, to Bell. Three-pointer is up and no good for Obrock. K.J. Beck there to clean up the offensive board. He's got the putback, and he's got eight. Beck so tough to box out down low. The 6'6 senior does a good job there, has position, and really uses his body well on the glass. Myers will use a screen for McAllister. He'll pull up left wing and get it to Fensick. Fensick thought about the three, doesn't take it. 
And Grigsville Perry running their offense. Wyatt Lipman with on the floor. He'll dish it off to Myers. He'll kick it right wing for the three from Fensick. That shot is in and out, no good. And Hobrock will go and get the rebound. That's his third. And the Trojans have it. 6-10 to play here, third quarter action. Trailing 32-25, pass into the front court. That's to Bell. He'll attack the bucket quickly. Shot is up and no good, but he will go to the line to shoot two as he was fouled on the shot by McAllister. McAllister's third, first foul of the half against Grigsville Perry, first foul of the quarter. And to the line looking for his first points of the night, Evan Bell, first one for Bell is up and good. McAllister goes to the bench, Woodward back in. Second one from Bell was no good. Woodward with the rebound, that's his first. Into the front court, Wyatt Lipcomb gets it to Michael Myers, pull up three is no good. Hobrock with the rebound, his fourth, and the Trojans have it. Looking to continue to cut into this lead for Grigsville Perry. Pass down low, that's to Beck. Almost lost it out of bounds, saves it in to Bell. Gets it out top, three-pointer from Carpenter. Up and good. Carpenter's got 11. It's a 6-0 Trojans run. It's down to a one-possession ball game here. As Woodward will get it into the front court to Fensick. He'll put it on the floor, kick it out top. Woodward doesn't take the three. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket. His shot is up and no good. Offensive rebound, put back. Woodward's got 10. Grigsville Perry will take a timeout. We'll take it to Grigsville Perry 34, Triopia 29, back in 30. From bag to field to bin, Prairieland FS is your home for quality seed. We treat it right here at one of our local facilities, deliver it right to your farm, and then provide the propane to fuel your bins. Have confidence in what you're putting in your engine with our energy specialist. They're focused on maximizing power, fuel efficiency, and engine protection to keep you going. We're neighbors serving neighbors. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Garrett White took the timeout after the putback bucket by Garrett Woodward. His team's lead back out to 5-34-29. Triopia was on a 6-0 run. The Trojans had trailed by nine. They had cut that deficit down to three. And Garrett White wanted to take a timeout and reset things with his team and talk over what they're doing on defense that they need to make some adjustments with. Carpenter into the front court, get it to Bell, to Obrock. He'll skip it right wing. Struby three-pointer is no good. Offensive rebound is going to come down into the hands of Caleb Carpenter. And Grigsville Perry bitten by the offensive rebound bug again as Obrock's shot was up and good, high off the glass. And into the front court come the Tornadoes. And the hands of Woodward. He'll skip it left wing to Myers, go down left the corner in front of their own bench. That's Wyatt Lipkin. Lane Lipkin with it, right wing. Approach the 430 mark of quarter number three. Woodward has the basketball for Grigsville Perry. Tried to go free throw line to Wyatt Lipkin. Instead kicks it back out top to Myers, who will reset the offense for his squad. Lane Lipkin with it, gets it off to Wyatt Lipkin. He puts it on the floor, gets it to Myers. Back to Woodward, and Myers has it now with 4.05 to play. He gets it to Wyatt Lipman, puts it on the floor. His pass is going to go out of bounds. It's a turnover against the Tornadoes. That's their fourth. We'll see Fensick take a seat for Grigsville Perry. And Flint Kirk's Flint, first appearance yeah. of the night. Flint Kirk, a junior, checks in. Normally when Flint Kirk comes in, Garrett White is wanting an boost of energy for his squad as Kirk's one of the guys that you can hear out on the floor at all times. Beck will go right wing. That's to Struby. His three-pointer is up and no good. Woodward skies high for the rebound for Grigsville Perry. He'll get it off to Lipman. He'll bring it into the front court. Kicks it back. That's to Woodward. And then Lane Lipman will reset the offense for this tornado squad. They've got the three-point lead. 3.30 to play here. Quarter number three. Right wing with it is Wyatt Lipman. He'll go out top to Myers. Puts it on the floor. Nice pass down low. Shot for Kirk is up and no good. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. 
as he drew the foul against K.J. Beck. Beck second. So we'll see Kirk go to the line. Kirk is the six-foot junior. First free throw for him is up and good. Four-point lead for Grigsville Perry, 35-31, 3.22 to play here, third quarter action. Kirk gets the second to go. His first two points of the ball game give his team the five-point lead. And as the Trojans get it quickly into the front court, pass is deflected, stolen away. Myers with it into the front court for Grigsville Perry to Wyatt Lipman. Back to Myers, three-pointer for him, no good. Caleb Carpenter gets his fifth board of the ball game for his Trojan squad. And Carpenter's had a nice game in this one here this evening. Done a lot of really good things. Struby's going to put up the three for his squad. No good. Offensive rebound. Bell couldn't get it to go. Beck gets the offensive rebound. His putback is good. And Bell's got ten. The Trojans keep showing the tornadoes that they are not going away yet. Yep, the Trojans are doing a good job not coming into this one. Remembering what happened at the Winchester Tournament, but showing this squad what they can do. Nice find from Woodward to get Kirk down low. Kirk's got four, and he's come in and given his team some valuable minutes in this one. Gregsville Perry's just got to do a better job of limiting second chance points as a near steal there for the Tornadoes. Pass got through the hands, and the Trojans are going to have a turnover, a 10 second call in the backcourt. That is their 11th turnover of the ball game. Kirk's going to go to this bench for Grigsville Perry. Came in and gave his squad a couple of nice minutes right there. Gave him four points. And Dayton McAllister back in for Grigsville Perry. McAllister hasn't been on the floor much tonight. He's been battling foul issues. He's got three fouls. Wyatt Lipman with the basketball. He'll get it to Lane Lipman out top. With it is Myers. Myers puts it on the floor and... We're going to have a foul on the drive. Struby will be whistled for a foul. That's his first. Second foul of the quarter against the Trojans. And Myers will inbound underneath his own bucket. Myers gets it in, and pass is going to be deflected and stolen away. That's a turnover against Grigsville Perry, their fifth at the ball game. And the Trojans just won't go away. Trojans in the backcourt. Nice job by Bell right there to knock the ball away from Woodward. Tracks it down and saves a turnover for his squad right there. And in front of his own bench, uh, one of the Trojans, that was Whitehead, was in trouble. And Rich Thompson takes a timeout to avoid a turnover. 1.32 left to play third quarter action. Grigsville Perry leads 38-33. We're back in a minute. United Community Bank has been serving our community in banking since 1973 and is a proud member of the Pittsfield Strong United Community. UCB brings you the latest banking technology, security, and convenience you expect. Delivered with friendly local service you deserve from your community bank. UCB invites you to stop in for a visit at number one professional plaza in Pittsfield or you can find them online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank, the leader of community banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sign up for a Saki Rewards debit card. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams counties. Call 217-593-7233. That's 593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Jesse Schumann and Emily Matthews at Illinois FBFM in Camp Point. Working for you. Well, Rich Thompson took the timeout right there in order to avoid a turnover for his squad. They have the basketball trailing 38-33, a minute 32 to play here in the third quarter. Both teams have scored 10 points here in this third quarter, and the Trojans have the basketball in the hands of Caleb Carpenter. Going to have a kicked ball right here. Possession will remain with Triopia. Carpenter, actually that'll be, Struby will be the inbound man for his Trojan squad. He'll get it into Hobrock, and he'll get it back to Struby. Looking to go down low to Beck. Hobrock instead will go right wing, 
That is to Whitehead. And Whitehead will pick up the dribble. It'll be tipped into the backcourt before it gets run down by Carpenter. He and Lane Lipton are going to fight for it. A quick jump ball right there. And it will be Trojans basketball. So Trojans will have the basketball length of the floor to go. Wyatt Lipman will be whistled for a foul on the inbound. That'll be his second. And the second foul of the quarter against Grigsville Perry. Kirk will take a take McAllister's spot out on the floor. Don't want McAllister to pick up another foul here at the end of the third quarter. Whitehead will get the inbounds pass. He'll get it back to Carpenter. Carpenter picks up his dribble in the backcourt. Finds Struby. Back to Carpenter. He'll get it to Whitehead. Gets it to Obrock. One dribble. Picks it up to Carpenter. His three is up. Off the iron. No good. Rebound fought for. And Struby will track down the rebound. And then... They're going to say that Michael Myers has whistled for the foul. So Struby got the offensive rebound. And then Myers has whistled for his first foul. And the third foul of the quarter against Gregsville Perry. Inbound comes to Struby. He'll go left wing. That's to Bell. Thought about the three. Doesn't take it. Back to Struby. And they'll get it to Carpenter as they look to reset an offense. Carpenter will put up the three. It is up, and it is good. It's a two-point lead right now for Grigsville Perry as Caleb Carpenter has 14 points in this one. And Grigsville Perry has the basketball with 20 seconds to play here in quarter number three. They jumped out to a nine-point lead here in the third quarter. The Trojans have whittled that lead down to two. And they refuse to go away in this one. Kirk with the basketball. He'll hand it off to Lipkin with five. Lane Lipkin puts it on the floor, attacks the bucket. His shot is up and no good, but he will go to the line to shoot two. As that is the third foul of the quarter against Triopia. Whistled against Caleb Carpenter. That's Carpenter's first. Lane Lipkin will go back to the line to shoot two. He's got six points in this one. First one for him is up and good. Give him seven. Real Net and Twine located just north of Pittsfield, uh, across from the airport, Real Net and Twine. And is your local headquarters for concrete, lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Stop by and see them or call 217-285-5013 for Real Net and Twine. Lane Lipman got both of them to go. Trojan's pass was knocked around in the backcourt. They aren't able to get it into the front court and get a shot off. After three quarters, Gregsville Perry 40, Triopia 36, back with fourth quarter play-by-play -play in a minute. GSI Grain Mints, maximize your profitability. From the initial site to developing your custom grain storage plan to the completion of the project. Mixer Lumber Company, we will be with you every step of the way. Mixer Lumber Company, your trusted GSI Grain Bin dealer. Cedar Lake Campground has been owned and operated by the Cranberg family for over 50 years. Located off of Highway 24 between Coatesburg and Camp Point, Cedar Lake Campground is a quiet family campground that you're sure to enjoy. With 60 RV spots with water and electric and our five-acre lake, it's a perfect spot for a weekend spent fishing, spending time with family, and enjoying the great outdoors. Find out more about Cedar Lake Campground on Facebook or call 217-455-4602. Welcome back to Central Illinois Sports. It is 40-36. Grigel Perry leads Triopia on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. PCRE Real Estate and Auction Incorporated is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in western Illinois or northern northwestern Missouri. Call them at 217-285-5800.
Obrock throws it into the backcourt. That is to Struby gets it in to Beck. Might have had some technical difficulties there on the microphone. As into the front court, McAllister will be whistled for his fourth foul. As they're going to say he got Beck on the pass. That's McAllister's fourth. And the second foul of the quarter against Grigsville Perry. Fensick checks in for McAllister as Bell has the basketball. He'll get it to Carpenter. To Struby, left wing, that's to Bell. Beck has it, free throw line extended. And out top with it is Carpenter. Left wing, Bell, he'll get it, free throw line extended. Hobrock turn and shoot. And offensive rebound for Hobrock. His putback is no good. And Woodward with the rebound for Griggsville Perry. Into the front court, Wyatt Lipkin will hand it off to Lane Lipkin and get it to Woodward. Right wing with it, it's Fensick, and he'll get it to Wyatt Lipkin with six minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Michael Myers with the basketball. Fensick thought about the three, doesn't take it. He'll hand it off instead to Wyatt Lipkin as Woodward will have the basketball with 5.45 to play here. In regulation, Griggsville Perry, Perry leading 42-36. Woodward puts it on the floor. He'll get it middle, kicks it left wing, three-pointer for Wyatt Lipkin on the way up and good. Wyatt Lipkin's got nine. Griggsville Perry's lead back out to nine on a big three right there by Wyatt Lipkin. And Myers with a steal in the backcourt. His pass is then deflected, stolen away. Turnover against the Tornadoes, turnover against the Trojans. Carpenter into the front court. Three-pointer for him is no good, but he's going to go to the line to shoot three as Wyatt Lipkin is going to be whistled for the foul. That's his third, and it puts Carpenter back to the line. One for one from there in the ballgame. He leads all scorers on both sides with 14 points. And his first of three is up and good. 45-37, Griggsville Perry leading. 5-16 to play here in quarter number four. Second one from Caleb Carpenter is up and good. And what a night this junior is having. He's quite impressive, just very solid all around. And he's been the guy who's made the play for the Trojans when they've needed one here. He's made two free throws. He gets his third to go. He's got 17. Triopia will take a timeout on the floor. We'll take it to Griggsville Perry, 45. Triopia, 39. Back in 30 seconds. The caring and experienced professionals at Hamilton Funeral Homes are here to support you through this difficult time. We offer a range of personalized services to suit your family's wishes and requirements. You can count on us to help you plan a personal, lasting tribute to your loved one, and we'll carefully guide you through the many decisions that must be made during this challenging time. You're welcome to call us at any time of the day, any day of the week. Visit our funeral home in person or on the web at hamiltonfuneralhome.com. Call 217-593-6050. 517. Rich Thompson takes the timeout after his Caleb Carpenter hit three free throws. Carpenter was fouled on a three point attempt after making those three fouls. It's now a six point Griggsville Perry lead, 45 39. And it will be Tornadoes basketball. They'll cross the time stripe with 5 10 to play here, fourth quarter action. Into the hands of Fintick, he'll go left wing with it to Lipkman, to Woodward. Thought about taking the shot on the pull-up. Said kicks it out to Myers, and he'll hand it back off to Woodward. Lane Lipkman with it, he'll attack the middle, drops it off to Myers. He'll go right wing to Fintick, one dribble, and Myers will pull it back out. And they'll look to reset the offense with 440 to play here in the ballgame. Myers on the floor, kicks it left wing. Lane Lipkman doesn't take the three. Instead, he'll get it out top. That's Woodward. And Griggsville Perry running some time off the clock here. They've got the 45-39 lead. 4.25 to play here in the third quarter. Fensick with the basketball. And he'll get it to Myers. 
Right now the Tornadoes are content to run some time off the clock, approaching the 4-10 mark of the regulation. Woodward with the basketball. He puts it on the floor. He'll get it to an open Fenzik. His shot is up and no good. Carpenter gets the rebound for the Trojans. He's got six, then a turnover against the Trojans. That's their 14th, and then a turnover against Grigsville Perry. That's their eighth. Obrock picks up his dribble in the backcourt, gets it to Carpenter. He'll get it to Struby, who will get it to Beck. Beck finds Bell cutting to the bucket. His shot is blocked. Offensive rebound, Bell. Putback is good. Bell's got three. And it is a four-point lead for Grigsville Perry, 45-41. Near steal in the front court for the Trojans. Myers comes away with it. And he's got it with 3.25 to play in the ballgame. A 5-0 run for Triopia. Again, Grigsville Perry gets the lead out to nine. Triopia comes right back and cuts down. Previously, they've gotten it down to a single possession game. Right now, it's a two-possession game, 45-41. Grigsville Perry with the lead and the basketball. Three minutes to play here in regulation. As Grigsville Perry, again content to run time off the clock right here. Lane Lipkin has the basketball, and he'll get it out top. That's Wyatt Lipkin with 2.45 to play. Trojans with no fouls here in the quarter. Remember, fouls reset at the end of each quarter. Probably not something we need to remind you of at this point as it's been that way all year long. But right now, Triopia, no fouls in the quarter. Gregsville Perry with the basketball, 2.25 to play. Michael Myers will hand it off to Lane Lipkin, and he'll get it to Woodward, who will get it out top. That's to Wyatt Lipkin with 2.15 to play. Right now, Rich Thompson's telling his squad, hey, go ahead and foul. We haven't used any. Obrock will follow that command. He'll be whistled for the foul. That's his first. And that's team foul number one against the Trojans. Myers pass in the backcourt near steal and tracked down by Lane Lipman. He'll bring it into the front court, and then Wyatt Lipman will be fouled by Bell. Damon, every time I feel like the Tornadoes are going to pull away a little bit, the Tro Trojans come back and remind us that they are not going away. Yeah, and right now it's a four-point Tornadoes lead, 45-41, 2-0-1 to play. But that is a staple of a Rich Thompson squad. His squad's going to play you hard for 32 minutes. They're not going to be scared. They're going to come out and they're going to show you what they can do. And, you know, after trailing by as many as nine, they're down to a four-point lead as Carpenter will be whistled for the foul. That'll be his second. So now three fouls against the Trojans here in the quarter. As we will see, check into the ballgame, Brock York. York will go to the, will check back in as Obrock will take a seat. Wanting to put a little bit more speed out there right now is Rich Thompson as he's going to have his squad trying to go for steals and then get the foul if they can't get that one. Inbound will come to Wyatt Lipman, and then he will be fouled by York. That's York's first. And it is the fourth foul of the quarter. Tornadoes will shoot bonus the rest of the way in this one. 147 to play here, fourth quarter action. Myers will be the inbounder for Gregsville Perry. He'll get it into Fensick, and right away, Rich Thompson yells foul. And Beck picks up his third foul, and it will send Logan Fensick to the line. Fensick will shoot two, his squad leading 45-41. Quarter number four, 144 to play in the ballgame. The junior Logan Fensick at the line. First free throw for him is short. No good. He'll have one free throw remaining. You GP's first missed free throw of the ball game. McAllister back in for the Tornadoes. Obrock back in for the Trojans. Woodward took a seat for his squad as Fensick's second free throw was also no good. Caleb Carpenter with another rebound. That's his seventh. McAllister's got to be careful here with four fouls. In the backcourt, Struby gets it. Crosses the time stripe to Hobrock. Pass deflected. 
Carpenter runs it down. He'll bring it back across the time stripe. Attack the bucket. His layup is no good, but Beck's there for the offensive rebound and the putback. Beck's got 12. It's a two-point game. Gregsville Perry leads 45-43. 110 to play here in the ballgame. And as it's been in a lot of the close games for the Tornadoes this year, their defensive rebounds have not been there. It's led to easy putbacks for their opponents as Lane Lipman will go to the line to shoot two as he's fouled by Caleb Carpenter. So Lipman will go to the line for two. And Lane Lipman at the line, his team leading 45-43, make it 46-43 as his first is good. He's got nine points. Fensick will go to the bench for Grigsville Perry. Woodward checks back in. Grigsville Perry with three fouls here in the quarter. Damon, as we enter the postseason, do you think the foul situation is something the Tornadoes will need to address? Maybe not so much tonight, but we started the qu first quarter with four quick fouls. The past few games, we've also gotten a lot of foul trouble. Pass going away for Grigsville Perry. Grigsville Perry does not like to go real deep in their bench. So obviously on a night like tonight where McAllister picked up those two fouls early on, it hurts as Lane Lipman will go to the line to shoot two as he was fouled by Caleb Carpenter. Yeah, Grigsville Perry is not a team that goes real deep on their bench. They do rely on their guys to play a lot of minutes and stay out of foul trouble. And on a night like tonight when you have a KJ Beck out on the floor, it does hurt that McAllister has been in foul trouble as we've seen him do a good job on the glass throughout the year. Lane Lipwin knocks down another pair of free throws. Grigsville Perry's lead back out to six, 49-43. 40 seconds to play here in regulation. Hobrock with it. He'll get it in the front court to Bell. Back to Hobrock, who will get it to Carpenter. And Hobrock's got it free throw line extended. He'll kick it down low for Beck. Beck's two is up and good. He's got 14. And the Trojans will take a timeout. We'll take it too. Grigsville Perry 49, Triopia 45, back in 30 seconds. Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dew Wester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dew Wester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dew Wester Grain. With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prera, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. Well, Rich Thompson takes the timeout for his Trojan squad. They trail 49-45, 28 seconds left to play in the ballgame. Trojans down to just one timeout in this one. Gregsville Perry with three timeouts and the basketball. Length of the floor to go. And Gregsville Perry will send out on the floor Wyatt Lipman, Lane Lipman, Woodward, Myers, and McAllister. Rich Thompson has KJ Beck take a seat as he counters with Carpenter, Struby, Bell. Then he'll also have Brock York and David Richards out on the floor. Actually, that's Grant Fricky. As inbound will come to Wyatt Lipman. He'll be fouled in the backcourt. That foul will be whistled against Evan Bell. Wyatt Lipman will go to the other line to shoot two. His first free throw attempts of the night as his team leads 49. 45, 25.6 seconds to play. Wyatt Lipkman to shoot two. First free throw attempt of the night is good for Wyatt. He's got 10. Beck and Obrock back into the ball game for the Trojans. And Wyatt Lipkman at the line for Grigsville Perry. His second free throw attempt is on the way and it is good. Inbound for the Trojans, that's Carpenter. Carpenter needs to get it into the front court quickly. Gets it to Struby. Back to Carpenter, finally across the time stripe. Picks up his dribble, gets it to Struby with 15. 
to Obrock, pass down low, Beck layup is up and good, and Rich Thompson will use his final timeout. Grigsville Perry has the 51-47 lead, 10.1 seconds to play, we'll keep it here. As we've seen Lane and Wyatt Lipton with some good free throw shooting here. And Allison, when you get into late in the regular season and in the postseason, Grigsville Perry still 10 seconds away from this. Trojans just use their final timeout, though. It doesn't have to be a pretty win so long as it's a win. Yeah, I guess so. The Trojans have put up a good fight here. Well, K.J. Beck is, is a difference maker for his squad as Beck's now got 16 points. But really, the person that's played the best in this one for the Trojans, who's really been there from start to finish, has been Caleb Carpenter. Definitely. Carpenter's had to bring the ball up the floor throughout this Throughout this contest, had to place, face a tough press against Grigsville Perry. Mm -hmm. He's made the buckets when the Trojans have really needed him. He's got 17 points, but right now his team needs to get a steal right off the bat as they trail 51-47 with just 10.1 seconds to play. Michael Myers will inbound for his Tornado squad. And before they can inbound, Garrett White wants to take a timeout after seeing how Rich Thompson's squad was going to set up. 51-47, Griggsville Perry with the lead over Triopia. We'll take a 30-second break. When we come back, we'll get you set for the final 10 seconds. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Garrett White uses the timeout. He's got two left as he wanted to see how Rich Thompson was going to look to defend the inbound pass for Griggsville Perry. They have the 51-47 lead, 10.1 seconds to play. And the Trojans are out of timeouts in this one. Myers will be the inbound man for the Tornadoes. He's got the basketball, he'll get it inbounds to Woodward. Woodward will get it to Lane Lipman, he'll pass it into the front court to Wyatt Lipman, and Wyatt Lipman will look to dribble it out, but instead they'll say that he was fouled in the backcourt. Foul's gonna be whistled against Struby. That'll be Struby second, and it will send Wyatt Lipman back to the line. He and his brother Lane Lipman with some clutch free throw shooting here down the stretch for this Griggsville Perry squad as Wyatt Lichman's got a dozen points on the night as his first of two free throw attempts is good. And he'll have one free throw remaining. It is up and good. And into the front court, Bell will put up a three as time expires. It will be off the mark, no good, and that will do it in this one. Final in the contest, Griggsville Perry 53, Triopia 47, and that takes us to the Blessing Health System postgame show. When we come back, we'll give you final stats and wrap this one up and also see if we can't get a few words with head coach Garrett White. Back with the best Blessing Health System postgame show after these. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago, they would have to do open heart surgery, and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. 
Pressures on you would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Pressures on you. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Pressures on you, 506 Westwood. Camp Point, Illinois. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. At Farmer State Bank, we believe in community, teamwork, and success. We're thrilled to announce that we've been named the best place to work in Illinois and the best community bank in America this year. Join us on this winning team where your dreams take center court at Farmer State Bank. We're a team. Discover the difference. The best place to bank, the best place to work. Because when our community wins, we all win where community, excellence, and opportunity come together. Farmer State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome to the Blessing Health Systems post-game show. Blessing Health Systems, with locations throughout the region, is here to meet the health care needs for your family. From walk-in to primary care, specialty care, and emergency medicine, Blessing Health Systems is here to serve you. Learn more at blessinghealth.org. Well, here on the Blessing Health System post-game show, where Grigsville Perry holds on to win this ball game by a final of 53-47. After one quarter, the Tornadoes trailed 12 to 11. They took a 28-23 lead into the half. They were up 40-36 after three quarters, hit some late free throws in the ball game to win this one by a score of 53 to 47. Grigsville Perry shoots 14 of 16 from the line in this one for 88%. And the Trojans shoot 6 of 8 from the line for 75%. 18 of 38 from the field were the Trojans in this one. Individual scoring for the Trojans, three points for Barrett Whitehead and Evan Bell. Andrew Hobrock with five. K.J. Beck finishes with 16 points to go along with eight rebounds. And Caleb Carpenter leads the way for the Trojans in the ballgame with 17 points. For Grigsville Perry, they end up this ball game. Their final scoring looks like this. Four points in the contest for Flint Kirk. Logan Fensick with five. Michael Myers with nine. Garrett Woodward with ten. Lane Lipkin with 12 points. And Wyatt Lipkin will lead the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes in this one with 13 points. Time now to name our Edward Jones, Derek Harris player of the game. And as we talked about, Derek Harris is the sponsor of the player of the game. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And in this one tonight, Tim, we're not going to name just one player. We're going to name the Grigsville Perry seniors as they came out, won their final home game here on their home floor. An emotional night for everybody here, but especially for this senior class. They will win this ball game in this one, 53-47. We're going to take our final time out here on the Blessing Health System postgame show. When we come back, we're going to interview the seniors for Grigsville Perry and head coach Garrett White. We're back after these. Every day, banks touch every corner of our lives. They support us when we turn life's goals into accomplishments. Goals like opening a small business, buying a home, planting a crop, having a baby. From your first car to life after retirement, Central State Bank is there for all of your life's milestones. CSB is central to your banking needs. Visit us in Clayton, Kinderhook, Pittsfield, Pleasant Hill, and Quincy, or at csb123.com. Central State Bank wishes all of the teams well on the hardwood this week. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, so you know what that is. Oh, yeah. 
What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217 222 7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome back on the Blessing Health System post-game show. Joined now by Grixel Perry head coach Garrett White. And coach, a win's a win, but a, a little different ball game here tonight than when you uh, matched up with this Trojan squad last month at the Winchester Tournament. Yeah, give them give them credit. They're ready to play. Uh, made everything they threw up. Their, um, their kids had a lot of intensity. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're happy we got the W, but there's a lot of things to learn from this. Um, Going into the postseason, we understand we've got a loaded regional, and uh, I'm happy we won, but might not be enough next Wednesday if we're playing route. So uh, <laughs> we're happy we won tonight, happy to go out with a win here on senior night, but a lot of things to work on as well. Well, and Coach, I mean, they don't, they don't write a book for this. Obviously, senior night in and of itself is an emotional night, but when you show, uh, when you add to, to that, honoring the, the memory of Zach Thomas tonight. Obviously, it's hard to to keep those emotions in check and, and really, you know, come out and, and, and be ready to play. Yeah, I think that definitely had a factor. Um, but, you know, um, we talked about that, and we knew it would be an emotional night. Um, Zach was such a big part of this, this, whole, this whole school and this whole senior group, and they were all boys, and um, there wasn't a dry eye in here, I don't think, when we were going through that. Uh, honoring him and the rest of the boys for senior night. So it, it is a hard deal to go regroup. And, you know, we did have warm-ups after, but it's still a hard deal to regroup and uh, refocus and get ready to play after that. Coach, we'll uh, a couple more questions here, and then we're going to bring the, some of the guys in here to talk. But just tell us what this senior group has meant to you. You know, you started with them, you know, for through junior high, and uh, they were your first squad here as a, as a high school coach. You've had them now for, for four years. What? What have these guys meant to you as a coach? Everything. I mean, um, when I got here, I had, they were my first kindergarten class. I've had them for 13 straight years in school. Um, I'm going to miss them like crazy next year. And so we're just hoping that we can extend this thing as far as we can go. Um, the, these are my guys, and I'd do anything for any one of them uh, for the rest of their lives, and I hope they know that. Um, I feel like it's a very special group. And we've had a special connection. and. Uh, happy they got to end it here on senior night, and it's not their last home game. We get to play uh, Greenview on Monday in the regional quarterfinal. Um, so we're just hoping that we can ride this thing out as long as possible, uh, make some memories along the way. We feel like if we play well, we can beat anybody. Your squad got the uh, got the two seed in the in the sectional, and obviously the uh, the New Berlin regional is not going to be easy. Going to be one of the more difficult ones in in one A, but um, you know, one game at a time. So what? What do you look for? Uh, or how do you approach the next few days of, of practice? You got a got a big game still against Calhoun on Thursday night, and then you got to get ready for for postseason. How do you approach this next week? Just back to the basics and fundamentals, and getting better at doing what we do. Um, obviously, everything looks better when the ball goes in, but I thought uh, rebounding again tonight was uh, suspect, and uh, that needs to be improved and. You know, we gave up too many points tonight, and that's, you know, we're giving up 33, 34 points a game, 47 a night, credit Triopia. But defense and rebounding would be number one um, because you go down to the Hoon on Thursday, and we've beaten them twice. But just like last year we learned with Triopia, it's hard to beat a team three times. And when you go to their home floor, it's it's always a little bit more difficult. Head coach Garrett White, want to thank you for your time, and then we're going to see which one of these uh, guys wants to step up and uh, and answer a few questions here. Should be a treat. Thank yeah. you. Well, not everybody fight over it here at once, but all right. Well, we've got two microphones here, guys, so uh, so two of you can hop on here. 
Looks like we're going to be joined by, by Rory Phillips and, and Dane McAllister here for this Griggsville Perry squad. And Dane, you're sitting closest here, so uh, we're going to we're going to put you on the spot first. Obviously, uh, last few games, um, you you've been in the scoring column more in tonight, going up against KJ Beck, tough player to play, D- a different guy than what you see a lot of times throughout the night. But how do you how do you prepare for a guy like Beck? Uh, I'm not too sure. Just front to post, yeah. don't let him catch. Yeah, and, and when you when you go up against a guy like him, obviously he poses a little bit of a challenge. But you know, when you when you have that opportunity, you're going to face a, get some height here come postseason time, and you're going to be able to you pose a challenge for for squads as well because you can come out and step out. And for you, again tonight. Struggle a little bit with with foul problems, but what's your what's your approach here as you go into the the postseason with this squad? Uh, just play better defense and make the shots that I need to make. When okay. It's time. All right. Dane McAllister here, senior for Griggs Hill Perry, joined now by by Rory Phillips. And Rory, you took a sabbatical for your junior year and uh, and came back and joined this squad. What's what's it meant to you to to be back on the team this year with these guys? I mean, I definitely missed it last year. It's just nice to be a part of the team again. Just be a part of practice and going to the games and all that stuff. Yeah. And for you, getting able to, to come out tonight and you know, be part of this ceremony, spend some time out on the floor, what, what have you enjoyed most about, about this season? Uh, just being a part of the team again, going out to play when I can and supporting my team from the bench when I – and on the bench. All right. Rory Phillips and Dane McCallis, we're going to pass the headset on to, uh, to two more guys here. And it looks like that'll be Michael Myers and Wyatt Lipkman joining us now. And Michael, you uh, came out here tonight, hit a couple of big shots there in the, uh, in the first half of play. And it seems like you're the, uh, you're kind of the energy guy for, for your squad when you need to get things going a little bit. You're able to uh, to do that for them. And what's your approach coming into you know into a big game like this? And as you approach the postseason, well, for the postseason, we just need to stay focused and be ready to play. We didn't have much energy tonight. I think we need to up that in the coming days. Probably get back to it tomorrow at practice and just try our hardest. Wyatt, for you, for you, you and your brother Lane are the uh, the two out top on the on defense and really look to you guys to, to create havoc out there even if you don't get the turnover your job is obviously to to create a little bit of confusion on the offensive end so what's your approach being in that in that position on the defensive end on the defensive end we just try to pressure the as much as we can up top so we can turn maybe not get a turnover on our own but like turn one over later on in the press you guys are obviously have played a lot of varsity basketball here in your career and probably hard for you to believe that it's the uh, last week of your regular season of your career so how do you approach you know not only this last week of the regular season but you came into this year with high expectations not only as individuals but as a team and you know, you've had a lot of success in your career but what do you what do you tell yourselves and tell your team here as you approach the uh, the postseason well before every game as coach writes on the board we just want to play every game like it's our last as it is coming up here, down to the end of the season. Yep. Wyatt Lipman and Michael Myers joining us here, and guys, just want to thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for taking time to come up here and speak. Wish you the best of luck in your uh, final regular season game here, and wish you the best of luck next week in postseason play. Central Illinois Sports will be there to cover it at New Berlin. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And just a couple more guys here to. To bring on here, we'll bring on Lane Lipkin and Eli White. Eli, guy that you really don't care if your name's in the scoring column at the end of the night. You're kind of the uh, guy that goes out there and is, is looked to to bring some energy and, and blue guy. Is, is that a difficult role for you to accept to know that you may not score, you know, three, four games in a row? You may not score three weeks in a row. No. Um, coach said my job was to rebound and help out the team. Okay. And, you know, there's there's nights where obviously 
you know, you might be in the in the game 15, 20 minutes, or maybe nights where you don't see the floor, you know, more than four or five minutes. But what's always been impressive to to watch, whether it's when you were younger, you know, now as a senior, is you've got the same mentality as you go out on the floor. Is are you always like that, Eli, or is it just once you step out on the floor, you just become more even keel? Um, I always like that. Right. Uh, I've been a hard worker all my life. Yeah. You've been with these guys now for, for quite a while here, and obviously we're going into postseason, and you know, we talked with, with some of the other guys earlier. Is it, is it hard to believe that you're already here at the uh, tail end of your senior basketball season? Yes, it's very hard. Lane, you hit some big free throws here tonight for uh, for your squad. You guys led by as many as nine a few times. The Trojans trimmed it down to two points several different times, and you stepped up late in the ball game to hit some big free throws. What was your approach going in there? Well, um, Damon, yeah, every – I haven't exactly been the greatest shooter all season, but um, here at the end, Coach always talks about stepping up at the big games, and that's what I try to do at the end. Well, Coach put you up at the line early in this one when there was a, a technical, I believe, for maybe an improper number in the in the book for, for Triopia. So, you know, you maybe had some struggles throughout the season, so that's got to give you some confidence when your coach – picks you out of uh, out of the five guys on the floor to step up and hit those free throws yeah it sure does what lane you know you and your brother we we talk about you guys quite a bit in every game you're both out top and front on the uh, on your press you create a lot of havoc you know you may not necessarily be the one that uh, that creates or that scores the bucket every time but how do you view your role on this team especially on the defensive end well especially on the defensive end you know i just try to work hard all the time and Whatever, whatever we can get um, going is what's working best for the team, and that's the way I view it. Lane Lipkman and Eli White here. Two of the uh, six Griggsville Perry basketball players that were honored here tonight on senior night, also joined by Mason Bolton, as uh, Mason has been a valuable part of this Griggsville Perry squad, was on the team there last year, and then this year Mason opted just to be the manager. And Mason? Must say a lot about uh, what you think of your your classmates here that you you didn't want to play this season, but you wanted to still be around them on a daily basis. Oh, uh, I just know that they uh, they really persevere, and their good team dynamic is what really makes me stay around. Um, their spirit, everything it's it's just fun to be around. They uh, all around it's it's exciting. Yeah. Well, and as Coach White can probably attest to. Sometimes the guy that uh, is the most valuable player around the team is you, Mason, because you've got to keep track of all the little things. And also, you know, at times as the manager, you are the the go-between between between player and coach. And what do you, you know, how do you kind of bridge that gap? Because obviously you do hear some things, you know, where maybe, hey, I should, should, you know, talk about this or just some things that, that I see from, you know, when guys are coming off the floor. Uh, yeah, I think I'm like, I I like to think I'm the glue to keep them together. <laughs> um, when they're heated a lot, you gotta calm them down. If not, it's gonna get in an intense situation, and it's just, I don't know. And as a guy who's around them all the time, from the time you were in elementary school to now, being in classes with them, you know how to approach every guy that's out on the floor. There's some guys that when they're in those moments. They need to hear a joke. There's some guys that you just have to let them, let them go. So, you know, obviously a, a very valuable role for you on the team this year. And just want to thank all three of you, Mason, Lane, and Eli, for, for taking time out with us here. And congratulations on another big win. Best of luck as we uh, go into the postseason here, guys. That's going to do it for us here at Griggsville Perry. Griggsville Perry defeats Triopia by a final score of 53-47 for a win on their senior night. For Jay Call, Tim Hall, and Allison Doki, I'm Damon Emmerich thanking you for joining us for tonight's presentation. Reminder, Central Illinois Sports will be covering 8th grade boys basketball. The state championship games, class 1, 2, 3, and 4A, live on Central Illinois Sports on Thursday evening. If you haven't already purchased that subscription, you can do so now. Just visit our Central Illinois Sports on YouTube page, and there will be detailed instructions on how to do so. Grigsville Perry defeats Triopia in this one, 53-47. This has been another Central Illinois Sports presentation.